Sometimes people will question, well, I don't actually know the actual um, fault current from the utility, or it could vary or something like that. So for years now, I've been advocating, in, in that case, it's not a perfect answer, but perhaps use an iterative kind of an approach. What that is, you begin with the initial fault current, basically the highest fault current, and you conduct your study and you'll get a resulting incident energy. And then take that fault current and reduce it in incremental steps, five or 10%. What'll happen is you'll see the incident energy also reduce. And you continue to reduce the fault current. The incident energy continues to reduce. And you might think, what's the point of this? Well, what's gonna happen is you're gonna reduce it one step too many, and you're gonna see the incident energy make a very large increase. But what you've done is you've defined a range of fault currents where the PPE that you wanna use is acceptable, and you've identified how low this can go before you start to have trouble with device operation. Not a perfect answer, but at least it'll give you a range. <laughs>